All right, uh, this project is going to be a little uh, propane fuel supply for a uh, Bunsen burner. And I want to do some uh, glass bending experiments. And uh, so I'm going to build a little supply, uh, fuel supply for it. I'm going to need a barbed fitting. I'm going to need a Teflon tape. And this is a special type of Teflon tape. Um, it's for flammable gases, so you want to get the yellow Teflon for uh, the fittings that will be addressing propane. Uh, pressure regulator. And a, a fitting that will go from thread to the uh, nozzle of a uh, propane cylinder. So. Uh, we'll take a close look at that here in a minute. All right, got my regulator ready. Uh, it actually came with this built in, and uh, you be sure you have some wrenches handy because this is hard to get out. They put some kind of like a Loctite or something in there. So I need to remove this fitting so I could put on my propane bottle fitting. Right here, go there. I'm going to put on my yellow Teflon tape to this, then attach the barb to the regulator and the little arrow indicates the outflow of the propane gas that will go to my Bunsen burner. So I'll have these assembled and we'll give it a try. Oh, a quick note on this. Um, be sure this uh, knob is fully unscrewed. That means the uh, the regulator is closed, and so the gas will just spew out as soon as you hook it up. Another thing is you might want to put your new fitting in and take it out a few times to clear out some of that Loctite sealant that they have in the threads, because that was creating a major leak for me first time I assembled this. When you put your Teflon on, leave a thread or so free to, um, to thread in and then put the, the, uh, the Teflon behind the first thread or two. And assemble it tight, and I'm going to use wrenches here in a second to, to tighten this up further. Alright, so this is it all, all finished there. And this is a, was a bit tricky. I found that I assembled this a few times, and because of the high pressure, it was always forcing a leak. So be sure to Teflon and just tighten this real well, and um, be sure to sniff and uh, feel around for any type of leaks that might come from this this joint here, from the high pressure into the regulator, because this is under a lot of a lot of stress. So let's uh, hook it up to our burner here, and let's see see how she does. Okay, you can hear some hissing. And we'll just, there's a little adjustment knob here. We don't want that to melt the hose. And we just adjust that knob and we've got a nice steady flame at a good pressure. We can regulate our pressure up or down, but just a little, little twist of the knob is all you need. And we'll be ready to do some glass experiments.